Hello, this is Susan Ashley. I'd like to welcome you to my YouTube channel. I'm introducing today a beautiful angelic being called Morgan. Not all angelic beings have their name ending in AEL, like Michael, Raphael, Gabrielle, etc. Some of them use normal names, like Morgan. And when you listen to this angel, when you're in the presence of this angel, you really can feel the angelic realm resonance. And I'd love you to in sit back and enjoy this resonance and allow it to just soak into your being and facilitate some healing. Hello. Hello. My name is Mugan. I am from what you call the angelic realms. I am simply here to touch your heart. Then you know how loved you are. To let you know how much courage it takes for you to come to have a life. When you come from such love and beauty, in your normal state, you interact with us, the angelic ones. In simplistic terms, you, light beings, are the right hand of God, God force. You create with your will and you ask divine will to join with you to create what you feel is needed. We, angelic realms, are the left hand of God. We have no will. We work for the love of the God force, which is why you call upon us to create miracles. We create miracles because we have no agenda. We do not wish for anything in return. Our only desire, if you can call it that, is to exist in love and to help you to exist in love, to help you to create miracles. Mm -hmm. In order to do that, you must surrender the need to control. If you wish to Control. There is no miracle. You can live by your will, direct 
your energy and manifest your reality. Or you can surrender and be as one with love. It is your choice. You choose. We wait. When you ask us for help, surrender control. Allow us to give. We ask for nothing in return but to bathe in the frequency of love that is created by your joy and your connection. You play with us when you are not in the physical. You learn, you inspire, you exist in love. That is your truth. And yet, so much pain in this language of love. So much rejection, separation, and yet your whole desire is love. Is there something you would like to ask? What can we do to attract more miracles in our lives? Everyone has a different idea of what a miracle is for them. If you ask for a miracle and you do not judge, control, miracle is something that is given, not created. You cannot receive a miracle if you do not wish to receive. If you feel unworthy, doubt, or you are asking for the miracle as proof then you are in doubt. So, the vibration of miracles is love. When you feel real love with no condition, no wanting, no separation, 
have miracles every moment. Question. Can we move more from heads to hearts? Where you place attention is reality. Reality follows thought. If you believe that your mind is in service to your heart, you will go in there. If you place your attention on your heart each day and you feel your body, you breathe in <laughs> life around you plants, your children, your animals, you will be in your heart. The mind likes to complicate and make it difficult to suppose you can go in your heart easy. Maybe it's not possible. Maybe it's too simple. Simply you touch your heart breathe into your heart, you say hello, and you say hello to your life, say hello to your body, and you will go into your heart, you can ask yourself, when you are having a difficult day, when someone is creating difficulty for you, ask yourself, what would love do now? Would love leave? Would love honour that person? Would love have compassion for yourself. Would love have understanding for the other? Ask yourself, what would love do now? Does that answer your question? Yes, thank you. Is there any particular connection between the people who are present today? Yes. You have all known each other, 
previously, some not from this world, some only in spirit, but an agreement was made to be in this place at this time. to honour the vibration of love and place it in institutions and realities that need it to question. When you question, even in your mind, you create a space of honesty. When you gain honesty, even in your mind, you create honesty on the planet. And then the truth is revealed, even though you said nothing. You have all chosen to see the truth because you chose to be in your heart in this lifetime to help the universe. You all come from different places and you understand as you are interconnected on earth, so too are you interconnected within the universe. The destruction on earth is a disruption in the universe. So you chose to help each other because you have also been in this place before, at this moment, before, when planet Earth was on the brink of evolution. Now you move from industrial age to intuitive intelligence. So your DNA must activate that which has been closed. It was closed through grids. Intentionally. Now it is opening. You are opening. This country you are in has many borders. Those borders travel through your country you are in. If there is an opening in the collective of truth 
and others drive through that truth will awaken it in other countries. Does that make sense? So it would be initiated? Yes. You can say that. The energy of truth, the reality of truth, needs to awaken. Although the truth is unpleasant, there is also good truth, the truth that we are all connected, every living thing has the same DNA, truth, we are all multi-dimensional. Truth you can create peace, you can stop hunger and pain. The truth you can heal with light and sound. The truth you can create energy. Through your elements that is free. There are many truths that are good, and you are all vehicles for that truth. Does that answer your question? Another question. Can you support um, people to open their heart by opening their own heart? Yeah. yeah. When your heart is open, your light is stronger, and that vibration is stronger than the closed heart. But you have been disillusioned as a race, that you have no power, that the closed heart is stronger. It's not. Your open heart acts as a stabilizer, like an umbrella for many souls. When you are fully activated, you will hold the heart of 20 million souls who are unactivated. So you have much power.
Does that answer your question? You are stronger than you think. There is no shame in loving. When you have an open heart, some take advantage. That is their shame, not yours. Your heart, when it's open, will tell you what is right for you. So, it's your protector. It's your guide. It's your strength. Another question. How can I come away from doubt on my purpose and stay in here? The doubt that you perceive does not belong to you. It belongs to someone else. Return it to who it belongs to. When you receive doubt in your mind, your body, it's a memory. Return the memory. When you think of something negative, and you think of that something for longer than you think of something positive, it remains more negative. We would say to you, when doubt or any negativity comes to you in your mind or your heart, Yell it out, face it, state what it is. You can state, I hate feeling like this. I hate this doubt. It makes me feel worthless, troubled disappointed. Maybe it makes you feel powerless. Then say to yourself when you say that, only hold it for 15 seconds. Then say to yourself, I love that I am open to my path. I love that people assist me and I am willing to accept their assistance. I am open and ready to receive all the love and acknowledgement for all my work. I am loved. I am lover. I am love. I am beloved. When you spend too much time thinking, doubt, 
and how you can release the doubt and where it comes from and why is it there. You anchor it into your body. So, scream it out. Give it expression. But only for 15 seconds. Because if you do it longer, it will anchor. If you let it go, it will be released. And then you have an empty space in which love can reside for you and your journey. Mm. Your struggle is part of your journey so you can assist others in releasing doubt and struggle. Tell yourself, I have mastered that now. It no longer serves me to master doubt. Admit you are a master at it. And tell yourself you wish to be a master. And love. When you question, uh, should I love this person? Do they deserve my love? Do they want my love? It's not about them. Do not stop yourself from being love because you think someone doesn't deserve it. If they choose to reject the love, it is their loss. Being in the vibration of love is the highest vibration. It is where miracles are created. And you have a lot of miracles to create. Does that answer your question? Another question. Then we will ask the question. Do you feel the difference between the spirit, the diva and the angelic? Good. You have travelled throughout the universe today within your own self. A very famous proverb is know 
thyself. This is famous because it is the truth. When you know you are a divine being capable of creating miracles with your heart and directing reality with your mind so that others can enjoy what you create. You are not necessarily here for yourselves. You are here for mankind. You are here. to co-create a spiritual existence on a physical plane of unity, of love, of caring, of connection and truth. You are more capable then you understand and the more that you honour the truth of who you are, the stronger your vibration becomes, the more profound your impact. When you think, ah, I am just one person. You are not one person. You are the universe. It resides within you. All the knowledge, all the understanding, the knowing, the ability resides within you. You are spirit. All of you came to earth. And in every lifetime, have aligned in some way with your knowledge. You have honoured the earth. None of you here this day have committed grievous crimes against humanity. None of you. Crimes against your souls have been committed. Yes, you have experienced resistance, pain, tragedy, fear. Yes. You have, but none of you, none of you have committed crimes against humanity. You are stronger than you think. You are more capable to change the reality that most live in than you know. And we wish 
today is the beginning of a major expansion of your abilities. So, we will leave you now with our thanks and love You will know when we are near. You will feel the peace, the stillness. When you ask for help from the angelic realms, or any realm, connect with us. When you ask for help and you feel pain, suffering, disconnected, angry, you are not connected to us. We reside in the vibration of love, kindness, music, joy, peace. That's when you're connected to us. We are guided by you. You have free will. You must request for help. We are not a grocery store. If you ask us to guide you to the right person that can help you, we will. If you ask us to open opportunities, we will. It's up to you to say yes and act on them. People ask us all the time and get very upset and throw tantrums when their request for a new car is not given. We are not the grocery store. We are here to help you, to help the planet. And if you need something in order to do that, we will help you. If you wish for healing, we will help you. If you wish for guidance, we will help you. And we will expect nothing in return. It is a good idea to connect before you ask. And then once you've asked, trust. Some of you have very good instincts, very good intuition, knowing inside. So, you receive a message 
and tells you something good is going to happen for you. Because you reside in a physical reality with time frames and you received the message, you expect to receive the result within a short period of time. Sometimes it takes longer. That's why you trust. If you receive a message, an insight, a vision, you receive that for a reason. Trust it. Don't try to control it with time. We will take this opportunity to thank you once again for honouring your insight and your intuition to be present this day to assist in the collective of transformation in this country that facilitates transformation in many countries. Thank you. Goodbye.